What's in the box then, guys? What is in the box? Well, there's a bit of metal here and another bit of metal that's been engineered. And then there's another bit of metal. So what's it all about? Where'd you put the clutch covers? Next to the camshafts. Oh, I love it when you say camshafts. Whisper it to me. Camshafts. Say it again, Megan. Please say it again. Camshafts. Thank you so much. Anyway, guys, today this video is about camshaft tool okay which is this which is a driving mandrel part number here 05001 okay which is a bpw tool right so i'm going to educate you on this because some trailer fitters don't do things right okay so this is factory machined equipment So the whole idea really is to replace um, this bronze bush when it wears out. And you can see sometimes the camshaft wears out too. And this one has had a problem. Yeah, lack of grease or proper grease. It's had red grease or EP2 grease uh, pumped into it for uh, a while. It's congealed with the original BPW grease and has not let it be lubricated properly. This is a big problem which happens on camshafts. The bush and the camshaft is worn okay realistically uh, on service intervals you have to use the bpw grease because it is the proper thing if you add red grease to it or another grease to it it will congeal okay so uh, be warned there uh, a lot of garages may just use cheap grease which causes this problem as you can see by the bush here it's gone solid it's gone solid and this is why we get problems yep so a little bit of red grease there there's the evidence of it and down a bit further on it hasn't been able to get to the camshaft yep so uh what we do we replace the cams and the bushes as required okay now another little tip here when you are actually greasing trailers now this is a bit of a dodgy subject you should purge the grease out okay but it sometimes can go into the brake side so you've got to be careful there and uh, play it by uh, eye and ear make sure that you don't get grease into the brake side if it's worn on the brake side okay but generally that's what you want to use is the bpw blue grease or what they recommend for the camshaft okay Another little tip before I start on the tool, if you need to find the number for the camshaft, it's on the end. Okay, so I've got a brand new camshaft to fit in here. All right, and uh, the bush will have a part number, but you can get that in a kit. So when do you change them? When they're worn. Yeah, and you can usually tell by the ridges on them and the amount of gack here. Okay, that's, well, these, these camshafts are knackered. Yeah. Uh, due to lack of lubrication on one side but on this side it's thrust wear yeah this is quite common with the bpw camshafts if you have play in the slack, uh, slack adjuster side bush then you'll find that the, if the camshaft is like this it needs to be replaced do it on a reline do it on a reline you can get a kit and i will talk about this in another video i don't really want to be too specific at the moment but you get the whole lot in the kit and you get this drawing which is a, a joke it's an engineering joke i don't know why bbw have done this so small this drawing but people of my age can't really identify what the parts are and i'm pretty sure some of you have the same problem as well especially if you have eyesight problems yeah but yeah you get the whole shooting match for the cams and uh, yeah you get this brass one as well but it's the tool that's vitally vitally important because it will put this bush into the correct depth okay and it is ideal you can't really do without it so the correct depth is that you have a gap on this side and it's because of the gap that is uh, on the mandrel okay and of course it's specifically made for the bushes all right so what you have here is a sexy tool and yep the the uh, the boss there you can see or the shoulder pushes it into the right place that is perfectly correct there is a knocker outer tool or a, uh, a remover driver if you like i don't really know what it's called but it's this okay and you get the uh, the driving mandrel okay so it has three pieces to it really nice bit of kit nice bit of kit and it's vital if you treat it well it will last a long time I'm using a copper hammer here because some of the bushes when you're trying to welter them out take a lot of force if you use a steel hammer that will burr over the tool eventually but if you use a copper hammer no problem 
and you can see how much effort I'm having to put into getting the bronze bush out on this side that is all this tool is for is for removing the old bushes and installing the new bushes and of course you'll do plenty of those and it's got a nice knurled piece there so this is engineered correctly okay so yeah you see the two here all right absolutely perfect for the job i'm not trying to sell it get your boss to get some uh, for you for your workshop yeah and of course the shoulder yeah this is perfectly matched so the bush doesn't collapse as you drive it in and you want to know how deep that shoulder is don't you well okay some guys use this on the end of a camshaft to knock the bush in and they think that's sufficient which is not because it doesn't go deep enough yeah remember that i know a lot of guys do it and i've done it myself because i haven't had the tool yeah so uh, be warned there that is incorrect so the exact measurement for this is seven mil seven millimeters yeah I've heard it quoted that it's two, mil two millimeters in depth. Well, it's not. It's seven millimeters. Yep, so that is the correct depth. You could actually make this tool. But unfortunately, workshops nowadays do not have laves like they used to do when I was a young lad. Yeah, you just have to buy the tools. So I could give you a couple of tips here, a couple of heads up. When you've removed the old bush, make sure that you clean it out because there's going to be gack and corrosion in there anyway. Uh, a little bit of WD-40 and a wipe round to make sure it's clean and use a little bit of WD-40 or grease if you like to uh, when you drive the bush in yeah just what I do you'll have your own way of doing things but this needs to be uh, interference free okay so there's the tool and this is the way the bush fits in because the uh, groove on it needs to go where the grease nipple is and you can see here I'm using a copper hammer yep change the grease nipple and if you like you purge the grease tube out before you put the bush in or afterwards it doesn't seem to make much difference but if you don't have a grease flow then you will not get grease to where it should be now you can see this dirty old crap here yep that's old grease so just remove all that purge it out before fitting the camshaft and everything else once you've done that you can then grease the camshaft up and uh, make sure she's over full as I said before, you've got to be careful about grease going into the brake side. What you want to see is a bulge coming out of the rubber boots. Yep, that is correct. Okay. And before I put the slack adjuster on or the brake shoes, I do actually turn this camshaft as well. This cam that I'm fitting second hand, well, it's the one that was originally there. That's okay. Yeah. So she's all right. Move the grease around, a little bit more grease in there, and uh, it's all good to go. Oh, I love it when you say camshafts. Whisper it to me. Not a chance, mate anyway look there we go this is the tool and uh, it's worth its weight to be honest with you because it makes the job just really really quick you don't have to use chisels and guess how deep it needs to go get your boss get some yeah i've given you the number and i've told you how it works so there you are